we are going to be doing epoxy wine stopper toppers. So we're going to get started by mixing our epoxy. So we put on our gloves. Safety first. Um, we have, before we start mixing this, there's just some items I've set out already to get started. So I'm kind of doing like a diamond and pearl type topper. And just so you know, this is my very first one. I've been working on tumblers for a couple years. Uh, saw a couple videos on how cool these are. They're pretty popular. So I have just from Hobby Lobby, Walmart, uh, Michael's, Joann's, just some supplies. They're just, and I'll cut them off and put them in. Um, we also have, I'm kind of going with the gold, silver, pearl. So just some of these and then some of that to add some vibrant pop with the glitter. You have, I don't know, they call them like fish tank uh, pearls. And then uh, just some different sized diamonds and then a bag of pearls. And then I also have a flake that we can use on the tumblers. Um, I buy this from Hobby Lobby and it's just gold flake. And then there's also silver flake by glitter. Um, like I said, I haven't used it in one of these molds before. Um, I got these off Amazon. They, there was a bunch of them, but I'm gonna use these two to start because this is obviously the first time. So I don't wanna do too many just in case they don't set right. Um, so I'm gonna start by mixing my epoxy and getting that ready. Okay guys, so I did my one-to-one -one ratio uh, with A and B. Um, I use the Amazing Clearcast. I know a lot of people use a lot of other stuff. So I just got it in my cup. Like I said, I've never done these before, so I'm not really sure how much epoxy I need. So I may be bringing another one in um, if I have a lot left over um i'm gonna gently stir i'm gonna try not to create too many bubbles in here you really want to give this almost a two to three minute stir um you want that nice uh crystal clear uh look if it's stirred really good you really want to make sure you scrape the sides and yeah i mean i do a lot of tumblers so um obviously <laughs> I don't mix this much. I mix in a, a lot more than I, I probably actually ever have um, to do these. Um, I do the keychain letters too, uh, but a lot of times I have that just ready to rock and roll for my extra epoxy that's left over after my tumblers, which isn't all the time. So sometimes I, I will have a little like those little tiny measuring cups just mixed and ready to go. Um, but yeah, we're gonna give this a nice stir and we're just going to continue to do this, trying not to create too many bubbles. And yeah, we'll return in a minute. All right, guys. So I am done uh, mixing, spending the time mixing the epoxy together. Um, there are a few bubbles that I kind of want to let this sit and let the bubbles try to rise so I can get them where you know like as i'm working on tumblers i know i try to let it sit for a minute or two um those bubbles will rise and then you won't create too many bubbles um on the tumblers when you're doing it so i don't you know obviously i don't know what these molds can withstand with heat i know a lot of times if i do have a few bubbles that i need to get out i'll heat i'll hit it with my heat gun like i said i don't know never done these before i'm a little nervous to hit these with a heat gun after the epoxy is in it so i'm gonna like i said this is my first time i'm gonna try and just let the bubbles rise to the top um there's not a lot but there are a little coming up so i'm gonna let that sit and then um we will start the process of filling these it's all new so i'm sure there's a lot of techniques out there i've googled i've youtubed um how to kind of start these and and pour the epoxy in first and then start putting in what you want um, and obviously don't fill it too full because you kind of uh, don't want things floating to the top and popping out the top I, I don't know We're, it's all test trial right now so if you're a beginner like me 
it'll be something kind of to experience in this video with me. <laughs> so I'm gonna let that epoxy sit for about uh, one or two minutes, and then we will start filling our wine molds. All right, guys, so I've uh, allowed my epoxy to set. So a lot of those bubbles that I was seeing, um, they're pretty much gone. Um, what I'm gonna do next is uh, while that was setting and rising, I went ahead and kind of separated some pieces over here. I opened up uh, my flakes, so they're more easy, accessible. Um, kind of took out some pearls, just set some stuff aside. I mean, these aren't huge, so obviously you're not gonna fit a bunch of, I mean, you can stuff them as much as you want. I've seen a lot of people use like floral um, dried flowers or uh, fake flowers maybe, I don't know. Um, so let's get started. I am going to first off start with this one and I'm gonna start by pouring just a tiny bit of epoxy on the bottom. Like uh, I would say a quarter of the way. And then I'm going to, you know, it's funny. I was telling my daughter that these are like crystal clear diamonds and same with these like tiny little leaves that I found. So I'm like, I wonder if you're ever even gonna be able to see them because they're gonna be in the epoxy. So I'm just kinda gonna start tossing stuff in here and then I'll take my uh, mixing stick and kinda move them around, um, I guess, to where I think that they should be. Um, like I said earlier, I know that uh, the videos that I've watched, um, they do like to float to the top. So um, in one of the videos I watched, it said, uh, don't fill it too full because a lot of the uh, stuff that you put in there is gonna float to the top. Uh, so, but then I also saw a video where they stuffed it really full and the way they placed it actually stayed where it was at. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I think I'm actually gonna use a couple more pearls in here. I, I actually like the pearls with that gold in there. So I'm just kind of moving it around. I was telling my daughter earlier, it'd be really cool. You know, when you use alcohol inks and you make kind of like a, a marble effect, it would be kind of cool to see that in there too. So if anybody out there has done these and uh, have used alcohol inks in these and have actually gotten it to work to make it kind of look like a swirl, I'd love to hear your input on that. Uh, I'm going to grab some of these flakes and put them in here. I think I'm going to do both gold and silver, even though I'm kind of working more with gold, some kind of earthy tones, but I thought it would be cool to add a little flare in there with the silver ones too. So I'm going to grab my stick over here. I'm just going to kind of, not really mix, but just kind of jam it down in there. And you know, to be honest, I actually like the really full ones. You know, I took out enough stuff for both of these, but I think I'm actually going to add another diamond and a couple more of these beads. I guess we'll learn together. <laughs> and I might add, I got different sizes of pearls here. I might throw a big pearl in there. Actually, we'll go with a little smaller one. So I'm still kind of just, you know, it's funny. I only filled about a quarter of the way full, but once you start putting all these in here, it's it's uh, neat that, you know, right? I mean, it's almost half full now, if not darn near a little bit more than half. So I'm just going to kind of pick this up. I mean, you can't really see when you pick it up, but I think my method is going to be just to stuff it. So even if it does rise, it's still full. So I'm going to add just a little bit more epoxy here. And then I'm going to add a few more things here. I think I'll leave just the one leaf in there, but I'm gonna add a couple more of those. 
And you guys, like I said, when I was waiting, I was kind of prepping, you know, I was cutting little pieces off of, you know, all my little things that I have out here and just trying to be as prepped as I could. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess we could say we're just kind of winging it. It's kind of cool. I'm really excited to see how this turns out. Okay, so this is getting pretty full now. I actually think I'm going to top it off. I think I might put one more of these things on here. And then I am going, actually, sorry. I'm actually going to take a few more flakes now that I stuffed another layer in there. Couple gold, a little bit of silver. And I'm going to kind of shove those down with the stick. So excited to kind of see these come out you know when you try something new and you've you've worked with a few of the materials but you know you, you just don't know you know what it's gonna come out like because you've never done it before you know and you hope hopefully it doesn't have bubbles hopefully it doesn't you know especially working with epoxy and those of you that have worked with epoxy you kind of you know it's it can get a little iffy <laughs> so i am going to just work this up to the top slowly. I think we're there. Check my epoxy. So I mixed a total of eight or 80, I should say, milliliters, and I used 20 in that tum or in that, uh, that wine stopper mold filling it. So that's kind of a good, um, analogy or you know estimate for me to kind of think oh okay so 20 you know this one's a little bit bigger so we'll kind of see once we start stuffing this one um you know what we use in this one because i am darn near even all right so now we're moving on to this one i'm going to add my epoxy and then we are going to start stuffing. Like I said, I don't think we're gonna, I don't know if we're even gonna be able to see these. We'll, we'll find out. Like I said, these are crystal clear, epoxy comes crystal clear. I mean, it would be cool if they're kind of like iridescent inside of there. So we'll kind of see how that turns out. I'm gonna throw a couple of these in here at the bottom. I like that change of color, kind of this like more of a matte shiny instead of just like the crystal clear one of course we got to get our pearls in there because it's all glam for us girls and you know i used almost all of those little branches that i those glitter branches that i kind of cut off so i am going to reach over here and cut off a couple more cool thing about when you shop for this stuff. I mean, you can literally even buy it at the dollar store. Um, but I don't know how well it'll hold up in epoxy. Epoxy is pretty amazing, the things it can do. So um, I'm going to pull some more of these leaves off over here. And then what I did with these, you know, these are just kind of that like old floral arrangement leaf. I just kind of pulled them off. I actually did not leave that one broke completely, but I did not leave them on the stem. I know I have seen videos where they've actually left them on the stem. So that's pretty cool. Um, this one's pretty old, so it's kind of just flaking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just toss this. And we will reach over here to grab a couple more. Uh, I might just cut them off here. And then, um, I think, did I put a diamond? I can't remember if I put a diamond to, I think I didn't, but. Okay, so we're gonna toss a couple of leaves in here. I might toss one more of these little tree branches. And then we haven't tossed any flake in yet, so we're gonna do some flake. Get that gold. And the silver. 
Okay guys, so I haven't really stuffed anything down yet. I'm gonna take my little stick here, start kind of pushing all this down. And I don't think I put as much as much epoxy in here to start with as I did as the last one, because I feel like I didn't, I haven't put that much stuff in there yet and we're pretty full. So I am going to grab my epoxy cup and we are going to add some more epoxy here. Okay. All right, and we are going to just keep stuffing. I'm actually gonna add a second diamond in this one. And a couple more pearls. I really like these little fish, fishy tank beads or whatever you call them. So we're, we are getting pretty full now. Um, so like I did before, I'm going to add that top layer of, um, flake. Since we added it at that middle part, I'm going to add just a little bit more for the top because like I said, guys, I've watched a lot of videos and the more you stuff them, it seems to uh, look better, I guess, when they're when they're done setting. Um, but I also have watched people uh, do these and they do it in layers. So they'll create the first layer like sand. If they're doing a beach one, they do the sand layer and um, then they let it set. So that said, it's not gonna move. And then they do the blue ocean part. Um, and so, you know, whatever, theme you would like to do these are just random pearls and diamonds kind of you know we'll see how they turn out um i'm pretty satisfied with that uh stuffing i think i'm going to go ahead and top it off now and that is the uh guide i can give you um like I said, I've never done these before, so hopefully it was helpful. Um, I will let these set and then come back and add it to the video so that you can see the final product. We'll see about bubbles. We'll see about, you know, the the diamonds and the kind of crystal leaves I put in there. We'll see if those even, you can see them. And yeah, we'll be back. They have been sitting for 24 hours. Uh, making sure that they're fully cured. Um, I am going to start pulling the molds off and then if I like them, <laughs> we'll add the stoppers to them. So we'll start by getting these suckers loose in here. I did hear if you use a little rubbing alcohol, it kind of helps um, loosen them up a little bit. So that's what we're gonna do. So here is our first one. It's actually really pretty. And we will move on to our second one. This one's a little bit harder to get out. Oh, wow. I really like that one, too. That one's really cool. Just the shape of it. And that flake really pops in there. That glitter flake that we put in there. It's really awesome. So uh, for the next step, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to kind of sand down. I'm actually going to trim them up a little bit. Um, I, this is what I use for my cups when I'm cleaning them up. So we're going to try it. you got to be very gentle, not to cut your finger. <clears throat> Just kind of trim down a little bit of those extra pieces.
You know, I'm surprised too. It doesn't look like I have any bubbles in there. Maybe a little kind of toward the top, but very, very unnoticeable, which is really cool because sometimes bubbles and different materials that you use. So that is, can create bubbles. Um, that is trimmed down pretty good. I'm gonna hit this one. This one was a little fuller than the other one. So, and like I said, again, you wanna make sure that, that you're really, really careful, especially if you're doing this with one of these tools. Um, you just don't want to cut your finger. Kind of the only way for me to do it, though I know some people can do it this way. I struggle, so I do face the blade toward me, which is <laughs> not safe. So the materials, I didn't go over that. The materials that I have here right now, um, I really do like these, so I am going to add the topper on both of them. Um, the materials I have, of course, is my two molds that I did last night. This was just rubbing alcohol. Uh, it, sometimes the molds will stick to the uh, epoxy resin really good. So um, it's if you use a little alcohol, it kind of loosens it up. This right here is just, which you can use anything. Um, you can even add a little bit more epoxy while it's still in the mold and then put the topper on it. Uh, I thought this would, I'll try it this way. Again, this is my first time, so we're gonna um, use a two-part uh, Gorilla Glue. It says it sets in five minutes. Um, so it's kind of like epoxy. You mix both your two parts, A and B. And a mixing stick, because once you get it in there, you gotta mix it all in. And then of course, two stoppers. And I have sandpaper. Um, I know that a lot of times if you rough up a surface, um, it helps the glue to stick to it better. So we are gonna rough up the surface a little bit and that is actually what I'm going to do right now to the bottom of these. So this one is sanded down pretty good. I'm gonna get a good surface on this now. It doesn't have that too much of that ring. Um, and I'll just do that for both of these and then um, we will get started uh, attaching the wine stoppers. we are going to place a little bit of this on here try not to get it too full that way it doesn't seep over the sides and take one of these stoppers Try to put it on as center as you can. Right now, guys, I'm just wiping a little bit of the extra glue. It is clear, but you know, to make it look pretty, I'm just Trying to even it out here before it gets set. That looks pretty good. Okay, so that one is gonna have to set and then we'll do this one. This one's gonna be a little tricky because it's got this cute little like you can't really see it's got this cute little design right here and so it doesn't actually set flat so i'm kind of worrying about it the topper sliding off until it sets so i might actually hold that one oh, we'll get this going here try not to add too much Okay. Pop that. Stop it. Pop that on there like that. Even it out. And like I said, I'm just going to kind of hold this one for a minute. And uh, yeah, 
I'll let those set and then I will show you guys once they dry what they look like. All right guys, so our uh, glue is all set and this is the final product. And so I was noticing that um, those leaves that I was telling you about in those clear crystal gems, you can barely see them in there. So FYI, if you're doing anything and you wanna put a crystal in them, probably not gonna be able to see them because the epoxy dries. But yeah, 